I wanted to show you another cool way that you can add people um, and that's using wefollow.com and wefollow is one of my uh, favorite tools for finding interesting people or finding influential people in there um, and so if you go to wefollow um, you can enter yourself um, you can add yourself to that list as well so I'm gonna go ahead and add that and so it'll bring back to the Twitter application and if you're signed in um, you'll want to allow we follow access and you can revoke this at any time in your settings uh, and so you could just put in um, you know your your location and some of the interests so I'm just gonna put HR um, what else am I gonna put here and once it takes there uh, blazers um, human resources Um, you know, hiking, uh, and, and I'll just leave it at that. So it's not a big deal if you do. Um, I'm gonna uncheck to follow them, um, and just said add me to we follow. So I've added myself to there. Um, that way, people can follow me if they they find a, a certain tag and that sort of thing. But let's just go to the uh, HR tag because that's a pretty popular one. And this will show you all of the um, top um, top uh, people in HR basically on Twitter. Um, and this is sorting it by most influential. Um, and so you'll notice that like some people have more followers than others, um, but really what influential is about is about um, it's about you know being relevant to to the space. So. Um, you've got you've you can sort it different ways as far as you know who has the most followers, who's most influential, um, and you can just start following people from that. So um, if you want to, for example, uh, add add HR bartender, you can go ahead and just add her there, just like so, um, and you can see what other tags um, she's under as well. So um, and you can see, like, Lori Rudiman, um, who was at Punk Rock HR before, you know, she's very influential as well. So adding her or might be a good idea, you know, so that you can see uh, what, you know, what, what they're doing and that sort of thing. And so you can kind of go through this as, as kind of a list to, um, you know, sort out, you know, who's, who's the top people talking about a particular topic. Um, another good one. Uh, to check out if you're if you're recruiting is is to look at um, you know the recruiting one and you'll see um, you know a lot of people on there um, you know some of them have a lot of lot of followers so um, you know recruiters are generally pretty outgoing people so you'll see a lot of these people um, you know being uh, you know being available and then you'll get some crossover like for example on this one um, it has Bruce Feldman um, who talks about college recruiting uh, for football? So <laughs> it's it's uh, it's got so, it's not completely perfect, um, but you know it's it gives you a good idea as far as like who's talking about what and, and who's influential on Twitter and who to follow, um, at least to start off. Um, and certainly as you get kind of your uh, bearings on Twitter and and knowing like who you like to follow and and how much people update and that sort of thing, you can. You could basically touch base and and you could cho choose to take people off or remove them, add them later, whatever you want to do. So that's the cool thing about Twitter is you're able to use it the way uh, that you want to.